shadow is upon us, Erlagorn. The end has come. It will not be our end, but his. You ride to war, but not to victory. You're outnumbered, Erlagorn. You need more men. There are none. There are those who dwell in the mountain. shut. It was made by those who are dead, and the dead keep it. What is it? What do you see? I see shapes of men. They have been seen. The dead do not suffer the living. Cool. The setting of this looks the same as the Return of the King game when you're like near the end of the level. Like you're in that kind of ceremonial ground it looks like where they're all walking around. This is another great grinding level. Because you can win pretty much in three turns. Should have been able to fight the King of the Dead in this level. It's kind of disappointing. I should have made the objective just finish him. And for the models for the ghosts, they do actually more resemble the King of the Dead, I'd say. I don't know what EA thinks when they're making things. I do know the keyword is hurry up. You've got to make it for the publication date or you're fired. Damn, hit his liver. 50 from the ghost. What are even their stats? 15, 15, okay, trash. Melee attack power, range attacks. Useless. Defense. Oh, well. Nah, Legolas, he just got triple critted. Well, I've already killed three, it's just these two. So that'd be three turns? Let's do the math. We can get 400 gold at Weathertop in winning in one turn. Or we can get 1,050 gold by doing this in three turns. So now Weathertop is actually still more efficient time-wise, but I'm sick of Weathertop. Gimli, upgraded armor. Frodo, upgraded armor. I think that's their final armor sets. Oh no, I want him four. Yeah, don't really need much grinding. I pretty much got everything. 
Escape from Osgiliath. Frodo must not die. Kill the Bitch King. Resist fears especially useful. Rightio, Gandalf, Gondor Ranger, Faramir, Gondor Soldier, Frodo. Alright, Frodo, I think you're pretty jacked up. I've already got Gift of Valor, so he's got 20% fear resistance plus 15 plus 15, so he's got 50%. And then his Sting has 10% fear resistance as well, so he's already at 60% resistant to fear. Unless the Witch King does Shriek of the Nazgul 3, which is an 80% chance, Frodo, he's, he's not going to react to fear. He's going to... he's going to love fear. It's going to be a complete turn waste. So Gimli got a, another armor set, armor set 3, so he got an extra 30% armor. It's before it was 30, now it's 60%. Nice, and then Frodo got armor as well. So that was... I don't know what it was before, but 40% seems like more, so... Great. Um, I'm going to get Gift of... Might. Reprisal or... Blah, blah, gift of Might. And... Done. Nah. Nah, that's enough. All our hopes now lie with two little hobbits. Sauron will strike us soon. And he will strike hard. Come on, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Mind their hands. Paramir, the orcs have taken the eastern shore. Their numbers are too great. Oh, Frodo, look at that armor. That's part of the armor that he wore in that disguise when they were in Kirith Ungor, looks like. Just minus the helmet. Nice reference. And Gandalf's still grey. I'm offended by that. And he should be too. His armor rating is... Yeah, it's pretty low. Frodo's 99. You're 61. You're 35. You're gonna die. Same with you, Elgos and Berador, 62. That's okay. Okay, so this level, the Witch King spawns when your units get to these stairs here. And they spawn, he spawns with a few orcs down here. Right now there's only four enemies, but these enemies here, they're a trap. Meaning that if you kill one of them, Gothmog is going to spawn here with four other orcs right here and they're going to totally block your way and fuck up your progress. So I'm going to have to avoid these guys, just stun them, get them out of the way while I move out. Because I, I don't want to drag this out, otherwise this level is either quick or extremely long. Oh yeah, and these are new orcs. 49 armor, they're, they got a giant hammer, as you can see, it looks... um. Looks like it could deal some damage. It's the same model as those Orc um, Champions in Return of the King. The ones with the Bar of Health and the White Eye. Then they just got the Mortal... No, that's a Isengard Orc Shield. Eh. And then... They're just the Orc Veterans from Third Age. With the Orc Soldier Shield. And then the Orc Grunt Sword. 
just a bit of a mix and match. Anyway, let's go. Just go down here. I'm gonna have to keep stunning those orcs. And not not harm them actually. No. Just Wizard Smite 2, keep them in place so they can fuck off. The rest of you. Because if I kill any of the orcs, any two, no, actually any one orc, then Gothmog spawns. I don't want to do that. I'm just going to have to accept all my guys getting shot at from everywhere, but... And... One more. You guys stay right there. And if two of my guys die, that's when Farami and Berithor, they spawn down here in this corner. But that's that's very unlikely. I would like to see Farami. And he would be handy if I did trigger the Gothmog spawn here with the four other Orc soldiers. But this is tactics, and I want to get to the end as quick as possible. And it might happen anyway. I could just leave Berithor and a ranger behind to get demolished. Still hasn't spawned yet. Alright, just... Fuck it. I don't like being this passive. Rich King should be coming. I think he just got dropped off. Really? How far down do I have to go? Fuck, a Gothmog could spawn. I don't give a fuck. I'm already past the area where they would block me anyway, so. Hopefully, I don't regret this decision. Okay, maybe it's two orcs I have to kill. Where are they? Maybe they spawn in after a few rounds. Maybe I just remembered wrong. Keep the rangers out of the way, Berylor, you just run in and do your guardian strike stuff. Oh, there they are. So it must be turn six they just spawn in. I thought I had to go near the stairs. Doesn't matter. So now everyone's pretty close to the Witch King. I can get them to start smashing. Frodo, you do... Yeah, stone throw. Just big damage everywhere. Oh, fuck. Oh, that got Frodo as well. There's only a 20% chance of him getting feared. And of course he gets feared.
So who? Ranger, him, three of them. Great. And they're going to run away now. Now fuck you. You're getting stunned. Wait, has he got stun resistance? I'm sure he does. Only 10. Okay, so it's a 90% chance he gets stunned. Actually, no. That one at the back, I don't really care. He can, he can chase you down. There. There. You're scared. You're scared and barely all scared. Great. I actually wouldn't mind smashing him. You all suck. You really all suck. You all missed. <laughs> Oh, great. Force of Bando Brass. And I'm going to do Wizard Smite Tree. It's not really worth it, but... Fuck, I'll sort of kill these orcs. I don't really need to. Get him there because units next to each other they actually give a bit more armor bonus. Apparently, it's hidden, like I can't actually see the bonus, but according to the hints, that's what's supposed to happen. And I always listen to the hints because they wouldn't mislead me. That should get him. You keep the Witch King dizzy. Headshot. Okay, um, there they are, whole bunch. Now I should really hurry up and get the Witch King before they will make their way over here and make this process painful. Yep, go there and there. Hopefully you don't go up because you're going to smash all ghosts. I'll go, actually no. Even if I do that and the Witch King chooses to go up, Elgos is actually not going to go up. He's going to get zoned, so it doesn't matter. Beradol, you follow. Actually, no, he can't move. That's fine. It's all good. Yeah. Still keep him occupied. Oh crap. That just gives everyone around the target square oh, 30 damage on Witch King, that's fucked. More? What? 
right there, are you serious? I didn't know that one, alright. So that move that Gothmog used, Whip the Command, it gives everyone in the within two squares of the target um, plus one move. So they're in a hurry. Smash you. Smash you. 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 Oh, it's huge damage. Ah, oh, fuck. One more. Oh no, that Elgossier is feared. Otherwise, he would have died. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, long as Witch King doesn't heal, which he won't. He does have a healing attack. He's got that, uh, what's it called? Fucking drain health. Morgul something. But he rarely uses it for some reason. Fuck, I'm gonna blind him. Just in case. Oh, I can't actually do anything else. Everyone else is shit in their pants. That's alright. Ow, my eyes! It's actually crazy how outnumbered you are on this level. Like if I got caught by that wall of orcs with Gothmog at the start, like that, it, it would take forever. But it didn't happen. Didn't get any freaking weapons, armor. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so that's next but this optional is Gilead run it's actually hard I don't think it's very fair like you have to play in a very certain way otherwise Farmy dies so you gotta kill all and Farmy's like out on his own and he's got a couple ring wraiths I recall like hot on his tail and if they catch him like the ring race now very strong and they'll fuck him up don't like that level Best units to use is probably like Legolas, because of the range, because your your heroes spawn really far away from Farmy. So it takes a while to get to him. So Legolas with the plus one move, and then with his, you know, high range damage. And then having Sam is good as well because Courage of Sam increases your move like by plus one. So that's handy in just getting whoever you can over to help him. So I'll probably use him. Gift of, yeah, need action points. And his speed's alright, yeah, just beef him up. 